Endangered animals. Endangered animals. Hi everyone. We're here today at Werribee Open Range Zoo where we're going to learn all about the endangered animals and how we can help protect them. Let's check it out. They're all endangered animals. They're all endangered animals. Hi, we're here with Kelly, who's the keeper of the Western Lowland Gorilla. Hi Kelly. Hi Ranger T. How are you? Great, thank you. That's terrific. Now Kelly, the Western Lowland Gorilla is a highly endangered animal. That's correct. Where do these gorillas come from? So in the wild, gorillas come from Africa, but our lovely boys that we have here at Werribee Zoo have come from uh, both the UK and also Melbourne in Australia. So we have Mataba here who's behind us. He was born in the UK at Jersey Zoo and his two sons were born at Melbourne Zoo. Wonderful. Now, I don't see many beds around. Where does, where does Mataba sleep? Well, funnily enough, gorillas actually like to make nests. You wouldn't think it, but they a like nest. to make nests. So it's what they do is they create um, a big kind of bean bag around them and they make that out of leaves or sticks. What we give them here to make those beds out of um, is a product called wood wool, which is like a soft, fluffy kind of wood. Uh, shavings, and we also give them blankets and hessian sacks. So they'll make a big, nice nest around themselves. But they also have lots of heated shelters out here. So they have shelters that have some nice heated flooring in it and they can wander in and out of their den, dens as well and get nice and warm and have some shelter. Oh, that's lovely. Now, this big fella here, what's his name again? This is Mataba. Now, he's quite a big boy. He is. How tall would Mataba stand next to Ranger T? All right, in comparison to you, Mataba would probably only stand probably about this tall, but okay. he's probably about this wide. <laughs> so he's very, very strong, big shoulders and a big broad back, but he's actually pretty short. Okay, okay. Now, what are some of the challenges that face the Western Lowland Gorilla? Well, in the wild, gorillas are actually being pushed out of their habitat. And the reason for that is there's lots of mining um, in Africa. Now, some of these mines, um, they destroy the gorilla habitat, but then it also makes people hunt food in the bush. Sometimes the gorillas are hunted for their meat, which is a bit sad. It is sad. Yeah. And what can we do to help? Well, it's really, really easy for us to help gorillas in the wild. We've got a fantastic program at Zoos Victoria called They're Calling On You. What it asks us to do is to recycle our mobile phones. We send those mo mobile phones off recycling. The profits of that recycling then go straight to Africa, which fund anti-poaching patrols to look after gorillas in the wild. Fantastic, really what a great easy. program. Yeah. So they go in bags like this, is These that correct? These are our correct? satchels, our postage paid satchels. And we ask people to just put, you can put up to three or four phones inside one of these satchels, pop it in the mail, no stamp required, no money required whatsoever and they get sent away for recycling. It's so very oh. easy. Well, that's wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Kelly, for teaching us all about this week's endangered animal, the Western Lowland Gorilla. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. As we've just learnt, Numbat, the biggest threat to the Western Lowland Gorillas is the illegal mining of coltan. Now, coltan is found in our mobile phones. And as Kelly, the keeper of the Western Lowland Gorillas, has just explained, we can get our old mobile phones, just like this one, and we can put them in a bag. You could find these at the zoo, or you can also go online. And we can put them in a bag. We mail them off. They are numbat. You can mail that off. And that will go towards helping the Western Lowland Gorilla to be around for generations to come. So, you can go ahead, kids. Grab yourself a bag, put your old, old mobile phones in the bag because here at Werribee Open Range Zoo, we're calling on you. Wow, what a fantastic time we've had at Werribee Open Range Zoo. We'd like to thank the staff and the keepers at the zoo for showing us all about the endangered animals. And we'd also like to say a big thank you to all the animals who took us. Next time, check this out.